Hey guys, so I'm gonna go over how to update the firmware on the Mayflash Magic NS2, uh, as well as what's new with this firmware update. What's really cool is before this update came out, uh, people were having problems with connecting their Series X controller to the Mayflash, and um, I'm gonna butcher it, Philip Thiele, um, contacted their support and they got back to him really quick and sent him a beta version of the software that fixed the issue which seems to be covered in this firmware update so let's get into so it so to get to the firmware update uh i'll leave a link in the description uh but it's just on mayflash's website uh you scroll down firmware update uh then you click this link uh but really quick so what it fixes is um, it fixes those connecting issues uh, that Philip and a couple other people uh, commented about having, uh, which is cool. Uh, it's now compatible with two 2.4G, is that gigahertz? I'm not sure, uh, PS4 controllers. And it's my understanding that the uh, Mayflash devices, including the NS2, you can do uh, two or more potentially Bluetooth controllers at the same time with the one dongle. So I think that just means now you can do two with the PS4 controller, which implies that you couldn't before. Not totally sure, to be honest with you. But then it added support for the Astro C40 and the Vantage SG305. I wasn't sure what those were. They're just uh, third-party uh, gaming controllers, which is cool. They added support for them. Uh, they won't work over Bluetooth because neither of these are Bluetooth controllers. Uh, but it's cool that they added that. Uh, so yeah, once you scroll down, click this link, and get here, you click this download button, and I'll get so back right to right after it. clicking download, this popped up. Uh, it isn't commonly downloaded. Make sure you trust, blah, blah, blah. Uh, I'm going to assume that the legitimate website, make sure you're at the legitimate website, with the legitimate download to the legitimate firmware is legitimate. Um, so I'll be the guinea pig, and click here, and click keep and make sure you trust keep anyway there we go all right all right so now this popped up uh saying i've been hacked i'm guessing it's successful so no i'm just kidding um so it downloaded you click open file windows protected it so if this happens you go here and you click run anyway. And now let's check out their updater. So I have the updater open and the instructions on the left. Um, so this next part's gonna be a little tricky to film. So what you have to do is hold down the button there as you're plugging the device in and keep holding that button until the updater software recognizes it. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Um, I am 99% sure you can do this without the uh, Type-C connector, but I mean, it comes included with the uh, the Magic NS2, so I'm gonna throw it on there and plug All it right, in. So just like that, I followed the instructions. I held the button down, kept holding it, plugged it in, kept holding it for a second, and once that popped up, I let go of the button and I was all good. So now we're gonna go ahead and click Update. It's gonna go ahead and update. They should have made like a cool animation for this or something. No, I'm just kidding. Huge, huge shout out to Mayflash. That was really cool how they reached back out to to Philip and the other other commenter pretty quickly and gave them beta software. Said, hey, try this out. Maybe it'll fix it. That's really cool of them. I'm not positive that a lot of developers do that kind of thing. Uh, what else can I talk about instead of cutting the video because that would take a little bit extra work um, Yeah, the instructions are super uh, super easy to follow um, This is going over some other stuff but Yeah, if you have even more trouble than just following this you can um, follow their images Here it's super easy. So let's see um, Update okay Please plug out your device. Need a little work on the grammar, but I'm not gonna 
dot too many points and we're done and so now this updater will live on your computer uh, until the next firmware update comes out and then you will go back here go to firmware update and there will be another one on previous ones I'll show you real quick um let's see come on now here so on like a previous one this is just the magic s pro you can see when we go down to firmware update there's all these different ones so just because this one is so new there's just the one right now um but yeah super easy super seamless um i unfortunately didn't have the connecting issues so i can't test that out to uh confirm that it fixed it i also don't have any of this stuff um but philip said yeah the beta software worked i'm assuming this is the beta software um exactly if not maybe a little bit changed um so it should work hopefully you guys uh like the video and uh yeah i don't really have anything else to say this was super super easy